Hi, this is Alec from Hogtive, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how you can cast or mirror your iPhone or your iPad on your Windows machine. So I'm going to hop onto my desktop. So you're probably in this video because, you know, you want to watch movies from your phone to your computer, or you just want to game and record them through your computer, basically casting or mirroring your screen on your desktop machine. How would you do that? So there are actually two ways of doing that or more than two ways of doing that. But these two methods are the safest methods that I found and I personally use. And I'm going to be showing you two of them. Again, one is for free and one is of course premium. So let's start off with the premium one. So you can probably see right now on the desktop, I have an application called A Power Mirror. So we can just head over to our browser and go to apowersoft.com slash phone mirror. Again, all links will be on hotdive.com or in the description down below. And as you can see right here, we can download it. Now, this program is as stated premium, which means it will cost you money. So as you can see, if I go over here on order, there are three ways of getting this program. You have the $70 lifetime. So basically you just buy it now, never pay again. The next service would auto renew annually, which costs about 40 bucks. Lastly, we got the monthly, which would cost about $20. So you can test it out for free, but if you go over to the membership benefits, if you go down here, what you can do is you can do a free trial, but 10 minutes at a time. So it's going to cut off every 10 minutes. And as you can see, there's only one uh, mirror device, simulator device, and there's not really much that you can do. 720p, there's going to be watermark but at least you can test out the program for free for about 10 minutes. So I'm just going to go again and open up the application right here. If you ever decided to get it, it's going to come with an exe installer. Just install that input. If you ever bought it, you can just input the information, such as the registration and the serial key, open the application. And this is basically a power mirror. So let's talk about how can you connect to it from your phone? So right now I am on my phone and basically you can plug in your phone or the easier way right here. If you head over to Wi-Fi, you can just go and pull down from your phone, click on the screen mirroring and it's going to pop up as an Apple TV. Press it, a power soft. There you go. And then your desktop PC or laptop's name, just press it. And it's going to automatically connect without even doing anything. It scans it like an Apple TV. And as you can see, it is basically seamless and almost in real time. We can go ahead and go to YouTube and go to hotdive.com and see our latest videos. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And that is basically it. That is a power soft. And you know, we can explore the program a little bit more. So I'm going to go and exit out of that. Let's go and exit out of here. I'm just going to stop mirroring and show you some options available here. But now if we hit on settings, there are a lot of different settings here. So let me just go through it real quick. So on the general settings, you can run this application right from the startup. You can make it stay on top all the time. You can change the UI style to dark, but it requires a restart. So let's just not do that uh, before it takes effect on this part right here. But as you can see, auto connect with the device, we have the phone mirroring settings, we can change the 2K, we can change it to bright coloring, we can change it to high speed mode, change the FPS to 60, we can even change the render mode, but I'll keep it the same. Then we even have the customizability on brightness, saturation, and contrast of our phone's mirroring. And as you can see right here as well, we can go and enable some emulated key and the landscape mode. But you know, PC mirroring settings, privacy settings, there are just different settings that you can check out here, but mainly the general settings and the phone mirroring settings are the one that you're going to touch. That's basically a power mirror as what you have seen earlier. It was just smooth. It was seamless. It was easy to use, but now how do we do the free one? Let's go back to my desktop, the free version of mirroring. What we can do is go and head over to this website called 3U tools. So right here, 3u.com. And from here, we want to click on download. This is an all-in-one tool. This is not only a screen mirroring tool. There's a lot of different things that you can do in this program. 
but our main use case for the day is to, of course, be able to mirror or cast our phone screen towards the computer. So I'm just going to go and install this program real quick by pressing the exe installer. We can do custom installs. So let me just click install right here. You got three of your tools installed. As you can see, this is the main window open. You can just plug in your device now. Once it is plugged, they're going to be popped into the screen. And right here on the bottom, you can see 3U Air Player. We can press that. It's going to download kind of the segment of the program. Once that is done, as you can see, but you would only have to install this if you want to do it wired. But since I don't really want to do it wired anyway, I can just close this one. I can just press on wireless. And once again, just like on a power mirror, we can just go ahead and press the thing on the iPhone screen mirroring. And I can press on 3U air player dash desktop. Once I press that, this window should now load and boom, we got almost a similar thing. just like on a power mirror smooth smooth works normally and fine and that is about it again this is alan from hog dive and hopefully you did learn a thing or two that is the easiest quickest way of doing it both wired and wireless both premium and free and the premium version, of course, is a lot smoother, a lot more hd -er or clearer, but also 3 u Tools Air Mirroring is not as bad as you think. It is very smooth, although it only runs about an average of 30 to 60 FPS, variable FPS, by the way, and also it's not as HD or as large as the one that you can find on Air Power Mirror. It's still good. It is still very usable, especially if you just want to quickly record stuff and do some things on your phone. Anyway, that is it. Again, this is Alan from Hawk Dive. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next Hawk Dive video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share it with your friends, comment down to any questions that you have, and um, yeah, have a nice day.